Hey! Hey 3D people, my name is Leah and today we are going to nerd out and speak a little bit about augmented reality. So if you have a look at the other videos on my channel, you'll see that I have done a few augmented reality tutorials, but in this session I actually just wanted to take the opportunity to talk about how we can actually use it. So the very first and probably most obvious way that AR is currently being used is for furniture design. So this is more interior design than it is architecture. Shop fitters and furniture designers can now 3D model their designs without really having to build a physical sample so that people can preview their products. And I'm actually planning on doing a tutorial series on how to do this if I get enough likes on this video. So this is quite a big thing for any type of furniture company. What you can basically do now is offer an app that people can download on their phones and they can superimpose pieces of furniture in their homes without really having to buy the piece of furniture. This can also be a really good tool for the home user to see whether a piece of furniture is actually going to fit in a certain space according to how big it is or according to just the colors and materials that the piece is made out of. I am aware of some lighting companies starting to do this overseas but I'm not aware of any companies in South Africa doing this yet. So if you are a graphic designer or a 3D designer looking for a really big and nice gap in the market that you can tackle, then consider this. AR is really fun and interactive and it's a super good way to attract customers and to convince them of your product. With more and more regulations being put on us in public spaces, I do think the retail scene might actually be dying a little bit. And with that being said, I think that AR could possibly take over the retail scene by just allowing home users to fit certain products within their home. The next thing that I have personally also used AR for is to help my clients understand floor plans and help my clients understand sections. So traditionally floor plans and sections have actually been drawn pretty much the same for the past few years and if you are not interior designer or architect and you're also not visually or spatially trained you might not really be able to understand the, the floor plan itself. Have a look at this video that I made where I actually took a apartment that I 3D modeled and superimposed it over a floor plan. The third way I think AR can be used by architects is to also show the construction of the building. This is pretty much the same as the floor plans and the sections, although now with an animation baked into the actual model, we can view how the building is going to be built in phases from foundations to columns to rebar to walls and then to all the accessory items at the end. I think the architects and interior designers are all pretty much aware of how it's going to be built, so I don't think this is going to be much use to them. Although I can see this type of thing being used in an exhibition type of scene, where people are trying to show off their skills that they are and show that this capability can be used. It could also be used in an educational situation. Like myself, I'm a lecturer and I could very much use that type of instance when showing my students how a building is going to be built. The fourth and last use of AR that I want to speak of is the preview materials. I've briefly spoken about how realistic we can actually get the materials in furniture and now I want to speak about how just previewing the materials themselves is just as useful. I've spoken to some material suppliers who are really interested in this and haven't actually found someone to get it quite right. What they want is to have their own app, uh, Seno is a tiling company and the phone must be able to recognize a floor surface and superimpose their materials on top of the surface. This can extend from just tiles. This can be looking at different types of materials to use for a counter, which makes it super valuable for shop fitters. The last point that I want to speak about is about large scale AR. In my last video, I had someone ask me if I could make an AR model so big that they could actually physically just walk around in it. My answer is yes, and my answer is that is actually virtual reality, not augmented reality. Whenever your 3D model is going to be way too big, I would recommend you have a look at actually making a VR environment instead. If you'd like to learn how to make a VR environment, you don't need to have any knowledge on modeling or texturing whatsoever. Please hop into my virtual reality for interior design course and you can learn how to make it for free. Thanks guys for watching this video. Please let me know if you like this type of content by leaving a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe because we talk about VR and AR all the time and we'd love to have you involved in our comment section. Again, thanks for watching and I'll check you guys next time.